Welcome back to P1. Today we are looking at length and area within straight line graphs and this is unit 5.4. Now we can find the length of any line between two points. All we need to do is think about Pythagoras. So on my x and y axes if I have a point here and a point somewhere else that's called this one A and this one B and then I can join them up with a straight line and I've got to find this distance between them so this distance A B and I can think of it being a right angle triangle and that way we can use Pythagoras now A is going to be the coordinates x1 y1 and b is going to be the coordinates x2 y2 then what that means is that for the height of this triangle or this vertical distance we are looking at y2 minus y1 so the difference in the y coordinates and that horizontal distance is going to be very similar x2 minus x1 now, Pythagoras says that c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Or c would be equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. And that's what we're going to apply here. So this distance, a, b, this is going to be equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared and all that is square rooted and that's how we find that distance distance a b and obviously it doesn't have to be a b it can be any letters okay so it could just be d for distance and then obviously with a triangle like this don't forget the area is just going to be base times height divided by 2 or a half base times height nice and easy when it's a right angle triangle okay let's have a look at this example find the distance between 5 3 and 9 1 so if you manage or imagine I should say 5 3 9 1 would be somewhere to the right and below it okay and joining them up would look something like that now I can see that if I made this a triangle and it's right angled I can see that this horizontal distance is the distance between 5 and 9 9 take away 5 is 4 and the vertical distance is the difference between the 3 and the 1 so that's going to be 2 so I can see that this point or this distance let's call it D is going to be 2 squared plus 4 squared doesn't matter the order so it's 4 plus 16 which is root 20 which is 2 root 5 so that's doing it visually or I can just jump straight in with my formula remember this is x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared and if I think of this being my coordinate 1 and this one being my coordinate 2 not that it matters which way around you do it so x2 minus x1 9 minus 5 squared plus 1 minus 3 squared so what you can see here is I've got 4 squared plus a negative 2 squared and that is the same as what I had previously it's going to give me 16 plus 4 which is square root of 20 or 2 root 5 so you can do this by thinking about it visually and you can do it by using the formula from 
the beginning of the video. So we've got two lines here, two straight lines, and I can see that where they intersect at the point A. So I want to find that first of all. So we've got 5x minus y equals 0 and y equals 2x plus 6. 5x equals y and then I can put these together so 5x is going to equal 2x plus 6. That will give me 3x equals 6 or x equals 2. Now we just need to find out my value of y so substitute it into any equation but I'm going to substitute it into this one. I get 5 lots of 2 equals y so y is 10. So my value or coordinate of A is 2, 10. Now, I need to work out the area of the triangle OAB, which means I need to know what B is. And B is the point where L2 meets the x-axis. So L2 is the equation y equals 2x plus 6. And it's going to meet the x-axis when y equals 0. So that gives me 0 equals 2x plus 6, negative 6 equals 2x, so x is going to be equal to negative 3. So the coordinates of b are negative 3, 0. So I got my coordinates for a, my coordinates for b, and obviously o is the origin. Now it's always best then to do a quick sketch. It just helps you visualize it for the triangle. So we know origin is here. We know B is minus three, so over here. And we know A is two, 10. So let's go up there somewhere. So it's a quick sketch. This is my triangle. Now, it's not a right angle triangle, but I can do base, which is here, times perpendicular height. And the base of this is going to be 3, and I can see the height is going to be 10. And I get those from my coordinates. So the area of OAB is base times height divided by 2. So we get 3 times 10 over 2 or 15 square units. Hopefully you can see how useful the quick little sketch was to help me find the area of this triangle and which sides were easy to find and use. I'll now give you a few to try yourself and as usual I'll put the answers at the end.